Hello, Nephaholics. Nephaholics Anonymous coming back at you with another night video. Uh, today we are doing a review on the Kershaw Vetter. So, beginning of the year, um, when I picked up the CRKT Foresight, I added this to my cart because it was only 20 bucks and I got uh, free shipping and I figured, okay, I'll spend the free shipping on another knife. Uh, why the heck not, right? So, here we are. Um, so originally, uh, okay, I figured I'd pick this one up. Uh, I got it because it had the, uh, pocket clip, uh, that can be made for right or left-handed, uh, carry. Uh, and of course, you know, my obsession with carrying left-handed as well. Uh, unfortunately, it was only tip up that I was able to carry, uh, this one. And, um, but I figured my, uh, my previous, uh, left-handed knife was the Kershaw Kuro, I think is how you say it. Um, and it was similar carry, so I figured there's no no sweat. Uh, I get a new knife. The the blade on my uh, Kuro has uh, seen better days. So um, this originally replaced uh, that. Um, then I went and picked up the Dividend. And this one just went into my drawer. So, But I have uh, used it a few times uh, prior to that. Um, it is a decent knife. It's got uh, good steel on there, good blade, uh, speed safe, uh, assisted open. Um, blade is three and a quarter inch uh, long, overall seven and a half uh, inches. Uh, the blade is made out of the uh, HCR13 MOV. Um, it's got the G10 handle overlays, um, stainless steel um, grip. Uh, MSRP, which to me doesn't make any sense. It says the MSRP is uh, $69.29, which I can't see spending that kind of money on this knife, uh, to be perfectly honest. Uh, in fact, had it not been 20 bucks, I probably wouldn't have bought it. Um, anything more than that, I think, uh, I think would have been too much. Um, but I picked it up at uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works for 20 bucks. Like I said, I bought it with the uh, Foresight. Blade HQ's got it for $25. Uh, I've seen it other places between 30 and and 40 uh, But yeah, the MSRP doesn't make sense to me. I, I think they just jack up the prices on purpose uh, to give people a false baseline, I guess. I don't know. Um, Maybe somebody smarter than I do, somebody smarter than I am, knows more than I do in regards to how they come up with some of those prices. Uh, but anyways, yeah, nice knife uh, for what it is, $20, um, good weight, a little stiff in the action, I think, but uh, nothing some time in using wouldn't uh, solve. Um, but yeah, I forgot to bring it out, take a look at it, and, and do a quick review on it. Uh, like I said, a very quick review. Um, I did want to apologize to uh, something. Um, if you remember, I did a video on my, my small knives, all my my little guys. In fact, I've got one kind of sitting here that I, I talked about. Uh, this little Kershaw here. And I had a few other uh, others that came out and... I don't know why I forgot, or I, I looked right at it when I was going through my drawer, but I forgot to talk about my Kershaw Oh So Sweet, because it is Oh So Sweet, uh, and it's perfect. It fits uh, the classification, at least what I classified as a small knife, um, with uh, the other knives that I had uh, that's about the same size as the, uh, um, I'm blanking on the name now. Uh, Camillus that I had um, so um, I figured I'd apologize to my oh so sweet this is a, a really sweet uh, knife here um, I another $20 knife I picked up and think in fact I got it from Amazon um, had uh, Amazon Prime free shipping in 20 21 dollars and uh, there you go uh, another speed uh, assist open uh, it's got a a good looking style to it. Uh, I like the 
the grips, um, the design on there, the cool um, design on the on the clip. Um, again, tip up, tip down carry. Uh, it is only for, I mean, um, right-handed use. I mean, obviously you can carry left-handed, but it's backwards then, so it, to me it doesn't work really well. But um, for, uh, again, another $20 knife, and I think not only does it fit a good... Uh, small knife um classification for that video but i think it's also a nice gentleman's knife um it's not very big you can put it in the breast pocket of a suit you can wear it with some dress slacks and i think it's got a good style to it that would fit a good gentleman's pocket knife uh, maybe that's not so um in your face and and doesn't bring attention to itself uh, unless you want it to so, anyways, that's my review for today. Uh, I will be taking a, a few weeks break. Uh, maybe I might sneak in a review here and there. Um, I will be picking up some extra hours at work. So, um, uh, I will be taking a small break here and there. Um, I did want to start bringing out some of my um, fixed blades. Um, I think I'm going to start with uh, my SOG um, Tiger Shark. I have a, an original Tiger Shark. Um, that I picked up for really, really, really cheap. Uh, in fact, uh, so so inexpensive, it's probably almost a crime. Uh, a friend of mine sold it to me, and uh, I figured I'd spotlight that first. Uh, anyways, have a great, uh, great rest of your week. And uh, until next time, guys, uh, stay safe and uh, take care.